Hi, this is Igor Rijanovic from hdhead.com and I will talk to you about conforming in AvidDS from AFE files. Uh, subsequently, you can also use the tutorial to conform from AAF files. Uh, the process is the same. We'll locate an AFE file here in the bin and double click on it and enlarge the window a little. So here's the bin that uh, reflects the media composer bin this AFE came from. And up here we have a couple of different settings. Uh, create associated clips. If we turn that off, no master clips will be created. The sequence will be created, but no master clips. So typically we want to leave that on. Uh, force creation of external tape sources will, if enabled, will append the name of the uh, original project to the newly created master clips. Create linked clips for file sources will create linked clips for file sources, as it says and use alternate video sources is used uh, in um, film DI types of conforms where we're linking to uh, something like DPX files. I'll cancel that and disable that. Uh, quickest, easiest way to conform in, in uh, AvidDS using AFE is if we simply drag and drop. Well, let's, let's see what we got in here. We have the master clips, all red because there's no media digitized yet, and a sequence double click the sequence and that's our sequence we just conformed using uh, AFE. Uh, there's one other way we can do this and as I said I prefer the other method but we can also double click on this bin which will give us the list of all the master clips in use and a sequence. Uh, the sequence is, is uh, represented with an icon that has uh, little arrows on each end. If I click and drag this I can drop this sequence right on the timeline and uh, we can conform using this method as well. That's it for conform in AvidDS using AFE or AAF files.